Hi, Jim. Hi. I'm Alex. How are you? Good, good. Nice to That's, see you. This super is one of the best things I show in my life. Oh, thank you. It doesn't speed in the race, right? Yes, exactly. Tell me, uh, how much time ago you started this and why you put in, a, in this, in all this work? Well, you know, I, I've loved cars all my life, and um, when I directed movies like The Exterminator and I would make money, I would buy a car, and I love racing. And then one day I decided I wanted to make my own car, and uh, we started, uh, oh, about eight years ago, where we took a Ferrari and we modified it, and we went racing. That was P45 Competizione. And then I said, you know what? I want to go off on my own, and I want to see if I can build from the ground up a car. So the chassis, the suspension, uh, the entire car. But I wanted to still make it beautiful, and that's what we tried to do. Yeah. When, um, that back way, when, when was, um, I mean, when, when did you start to think, hey, now's the time to, to, to mow my scuderia? Oh, I'd say about eight years ago. Eight years ago. Um, what happened was, you know, to buy a car from some other company and to modify it is a lot different than to build a car and design it from the ground up. And what we tried to do was to make a car that um, gentlemen drivers would enjoy driving that was easy to work on, that was very fast, that did not cost crazy amounts of money, that was easy to assemble, to disassemble. And this is really all of that knowledge that we got over many years, we put together and turned into uh, 004. So we have a road version and a race version, and that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, you started with the 003 uh, thing about five years ago, right? Yes, correct. But it was a car more expensive for more small people, and I think that you decided to, hey, go to Europe. It's a new market because you are from New York. Right? Yes, exactly. And you say, hey, come on to go to Le Mans and this kind of races, no? Exactly. So, uh, FIA put you some, some regulation, no? Like the number of cars you, you must sell to other people in order to, to for you to be able to compete with the scan, right? Exactly. Uh, this will be a GT3 car, so uh, we have to sell about 200 road examples. We have already sold 50, and we're on target to hit the 200 very quickly. And uh, in the meantime, we race at the uh, Nürburgring, at the 24 Hours of Nürburgring, and the VLN, and we use it. To, what we use racing for is to test our road cars. We learn very quickly what works, what we have to change, what we have to do, uh, and that's why we love racing. So, you are not here for the business. You are more for your dreams to come in the reality of your own Scuderia to be able to race, right? Exactly. I mean, we love racing and um, we just hope with the business that we can make enough money to continue racing. It's not, I don't have to have a very huge business or make a lot of money. We just want to not lose too much, make a little bit and be able to keep racing. Can you tell me a little bit of numbers of 004? For example, approximately, uh, tell me something about the car. I think it's with, there will be two variants, right? One for yes, speed. yes, there will be uh, really three variants. One will be the, the race car, and um, for the race car, we also will have a variant that will be a little bit more for gentlemen drivers. The thing about GT3s are they're very high aero cars, and gentlemen drivers need a long time to learn that. So we want to make it so that a gentleman driver can fit, has a lot of headroom. If they're a little bigger, they can fit 
fit in, it's more comfortable, and that the running costs... You're in the middle. Yes, exactly. And when you're in the middle, you have a beautiful wide view, you see everything, which is very important. And the other important thing is that the running costs will be very reasonable. The engine lasts a long time, the body parts, if you have an accident, are not uh -huh. crazy expensive. Uh -huh. And the one thing that we do is, as we learn from building and, and racing, we put all of that into, so we will have Evo Great. kits and we'll uh -huh. upgrade all the cars. The weight of the car? Yes, the weight of the car is about 1,150 kilos. It's, it's, it's a very low number. Yes, it's a very lightweight car. It has a lot of horsepower on the road. It has as many... Eight hundred and forty horsepower for the race. For the race. For the race. No, no, for the road. For the road. Road. Uh, yeah, it has eight hundred and forty horsepower for the road. Eight hundred and forty for the for the legal road. Yes, for the so legal road. I can drive in Spain here in Barcelona. Yes. Or in Aragon with a car. Yes, with exactly. Eight hundred and forty. Yes. And then the, ra the race car, the GT3 race car, has about 550 horsepower. That's uh, by regulation. To the, to the rules, oh, right? yeah. To the rules, yeah. And tell me, approximately, um, um, do you know an estimation of the, um, of the cost of the car for any potentials? Uh, yes, here? yes, the road cars uh, will be uh, started about $460,000 and the uh, race car will be about $550,000. And, um, but each car is handmade, it's bespoke, so if someone wants it a little special or a little different, we can do that. Um, we have three factories. We have a factory in um, Point San Martin, Italy, uh, north of Torino, where we build both the race cars and road cars. We have a factory in uh, Connecticut, in the United States, where we will build road cars, and we have a facility in um, California where we build our Baja vehicle that we just won the Baja in. We finished uh, first in class against the Ford Bronco. But for example, don't say no, but for example, uh, if I have one of your cars, one of your cars, and I accidentally crash the front, see here, uh, uh, may I order that part to Italy and they yes. give it to me? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, at just an affordable price. Yes, at an affordable Let's price. See. And in Italy, we will have the ability to completely fix, remanufacture whatever parts you need all the time. Uh, say, for example, if me want to purchase your car for me to, or my friend, drive here in Barcelona or in Spain legally, tell me approximately, I need to give you a deposit and what time do you expect uh, for us to have the car, if possible, or may not, or hold it? Yes, what it will be is, um, we're first selling the cars in the United States. Uh -huh. We're going to deliver 50 cars. You already for, sold? Yes, we've already sold 50 cars to the United States. And as soon as I get 10 firm orders, for Europe. We will then do the legal homologation for Europe. So what I would need is I would need a contract saying yes you're going to buy the car when it's legal in Spain. If it's never legal you get your money back and um, I think it would take us about six months from then to get the car. So that's a very reasonable time. Do you expect uh, by end this year 2020 or next one 2021 for people may have a car uh, in here in Barcelona legally here in absolutely Spain. yes absolutely okay yes, really I'm glad uh, looking at your at your team at your people all the people works and and with very passion like you seems a familiar business not uh, not for not just for good mornings you know just for race and I wish for you the best, and I hope uh, for me to see you, but today not. Today no. Tomorrow. Otra vez, today. Today not. Tomorrow. Thank you so much. Ahora. Thank you. Ahora. Yeah, great.